I am going to discuss what how to check enter number is integer or float. So suppose if I enter 9, the output display number is integer. And suppose if I enter 9.8, the number output display number is float. So let's write the code. So first add here going to take integer tag variable n and here after double tag variable that required giving the name d and here after write console class dot write method so add here let's write add here enter any number now here after so whatever I'm going to enter, so that will go to D. So D and here auto, let's use double dot parse console dot read line. Now here after, so N equal to, so if I do N equal to D, so add here getting the red color at D point, because n is the integer, d is the double. So both are not equal. So at here going to do the tag casting. So if you give at here int d, so d value is now converted into integer. Now here after let's use if a statement. So if n double equal to d. So if this condition is true, so that will go inside. So at here console class dot to or write line method so add here so message going to print number is in teaser and here after if this condition is not true so that we will go to the as part and here console class dot write line method so at here going to print the masses number is float or double. So this is the code to check number is integer or not. So let's execute that. So add here enter any number going to enter 3. So 3 is the integer. So add here it's a printing number is integer. Now here after execute. So this time going to enter 3.9. So add here number is float. So if you if the number has the decimal point, so this we can say number oh, that is double or float time. Now here after let's execute one more time. So if I'm going to enter 3.0, so 3.0 is just equal. So if you give at your a point after point, if you give any zero, so the value is only three. Okay, 3.0. If you give 3.000, so it's just equal to three. So that if you enter, press enter, so this will display number is integer. Now, if you give at your 3 point like 3.7, so this is the at your number is float. It's a display. Now, if you enter only or 3, so there is the integer, so it's a display here. So, this is the way we can check number is integer or float. So, at here about this code, so first I have taken two variables. First is integer tab and double tab t. So at your console dot write line, so enter any number. So at your going to enter the value 8. So at your console dot read line. So this accept a string value and after doing double dot parse. So this is now convert into at your double tab. So D is now at your 8. So D value at your 8. Now 8. So at your or D value is 8. And here this 8 value is now going to convert into integer. So this value is now 
8 is going to convert into integer so add your n become 8 so n also become 8 now here after that check n equal to d so d value add here 8 and n value also add so that will go inside so add a console dot right right so this will print at a number is integer suppose if i enter at this point the value is 8.1 so d value is now 8.1 at here so d value 8.1 after applying conversion at your type casting conversion so this is now going to convert into integer so n value is now become 8 so at here if n equal to d so n value is 8 d value is 8.1 so both are not equal so this condition at here false so this will go to the as part here console dot right time so this will print number is float or double so at here oh, 8.8 .8, n value is 8 and d value is 8.1 so 8 equal to 8.1 so this return at here false so if this condition is false so that go to as part and here this print number is wrong so this the way we can check entered number is integer or float and here i am using the concept of if and as a statement so i hope guys this video is helpful for you so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you